guys. Um, I'm here to do just a little update on um, what happened uh, last night. First of all, I want to say uh, thank you. Hi, Kitty. I want to say thank you for all of your comments um, uh, about the situation. Um, you know, even those that I didn't agree with or I didn't believe in, I still thank you for your input as to what you felt about it. But I have to tell you, uh, after I finished making the video, um, uh, an extreme sense of uh, peace came around me. I don't know how to explain it. And the strangest thing was that my dog, the one that uh, in my last video, he's laying on the end of the bed looking towards the bedroom door, he all of a sudden got very relaxed and started wagging his tail as he looked at the door. Um, and I have to tell you guys, um, I never felt it was evil. I mean, yeah, <clears throat> I was, I was, of course, you know, you get scared when something unusual happens, but I never felt any kind of evil at all. In fact, uh, after I calmed down, after I made the video and calmed down, I really felt the presence of a child. Um, I don't know how to explain it other than it, I felt like there was a child around me. Um, it was very unusual and um, I decided to talk to it and I just talked to it as you would a child and I told it you're going to be okay. Uh, I don't know if you know I, I simply said if you are a child just know that you're going you're going to be okay everything's going to be all right and I told it um, you know I don't know why you're here I don't know why you shook my bed but uh, you got my attention and I just simply said um, in this household, uh, all bad spirits are not allowed. They will not be accepted. And I said, but if you are a good spirit, I said, um, I understand that you may be lost and maybe you're uh, needing company or whatever. I just had a little conversation with it. And strangely enough, right after that, I got the strongest sense of calm that you would not believe. I actually fell into the deepest sleep I have had in I don't know how long. I have even told my daughter that I've just been kind of restless at night, you know, not sleeping that great. And last night I slept so hard I could not believe it. When I woke up I thought, oh my God, it's morning. And uh, it was such a deep sleep, you know, that kind where you wake up and you can barely move. You're like, oh my God. You don't even want to get out of bed. That's the kind of sleep it was. And guys, that might not sound like a big deal, but I have not had a sleep like that in a very long time. So, um, you know, and uh, it was very strange because uh, it was like an overwhelming sense of, of a, a child that felt lost. That's the only way I can describe it. You guys need to understand that I have a very high a sense of when I, of when something is around me whether it's evil or or not and that definitely was not I've been able to do this for many 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 years of my life and this did not I have felt there has been times in my life where I have felt a presence that did not feel good uh, this definitely was not one of them uh, in fact it was very peaceful it felt very uh, um, almost comforting mm, whether it be that I was comforting it or it comforting me I don't know but um, my dogs completely calmed down um, and when he started wagging his tail as though he were looking at someone I'll tell you he's only done that one other time and that's when right after the woman that lived here died she died right in this room I'm in right now um, right after she died and we moved in here uh, into this house he would go up to the chair she always used to sit in and he would sit in front of the chair in fact all three of them would do it but more so Capone my male dog he's he's extremely sensitive um, he would go sit in front of her chair and he would be looking up as though he were looking at somebody in the chair and at first his ears would go up with total alert and then all of a sudden he'd be like wagging his tail and just had that look that dogs get, you know, when their little ears go down, they have that kind of happy look. He would do that for quite a while after we moved in here. And I knew, I sensed, it was like, I know she's there because he would always go to her chair. 
and he had never met her before we he had never met her ever I mean they were where we lived and then I'd come take care of her go back they they never came into this household until we moved in here so um, I watched him and he would go and do that and there were times he would uh, pick up a toy and he'd go put it on her chair as if to give a gift and he'd do it wagging his tail so I kind of sensed it was her I felt it was her and um, last night I'll tell you guys um, that was something that as long as I have my mind working will forever be with me I'll never forget the feeling of that bed shaking but after I finished you know uh, videotaping uh, posting the video for you guys it's like something the whole energy in the house changed uh, the energy actually I could feel it change and I got very calm and relaxed I was just laying in bed laying back you know all my pillows my dogs were there and I felt the change it was incredible very calming very soothing uh, in a sense and also kind of sad because I felt like it was something a spirit that was kind of like lost maybe uh, or because you know we don't know why spirits come back whether it's because they are still a lost soul haven't crossed over or maybe they came back there's something they need to take care of I don't know uh, but I definitely sensed this one and the other reason it really was amazing to me that it felt like a child was when this woman that I was taking care of was on her deathbed in her last days there she would look at me you know she'd like become really lucid and she'd go oh there's that little boy again and I'd look over because they used to have a hospital bed in here for her and I'd have her sitting in the chair sometimes just to get her out of that bed and she'd point to her bed at the end of the bed and she'd go, oh, there's that little boy again. And I would be like, what, what little boy are you talking about? And she said, him, can't you see him? And I'd be like, mm, no, I don't. And she'd go, well, he's got black curly hair. He's wearing a little black jacket and a little hat. He's a real cute little boy and he, he always plays here. And I just looked at her and said, really? And she goes, yeah, he, he comes and plays here. And she goes, and being in her state of mind sometimes she'd just go I don't know maybe he's waiting for me you know she'd say that um, but she did that a few times she'd say oh there's that little boy again so and each time I would ask her to describe him and she would describe him uh, the same way each time so I knew it was the same thing she was seeing and I asked her if she knew his name and she said no she would just say oh he's just He's so cute. He's got curly black hair and a little hat and a little black jacket, and he's just so cute. And he's swinging his legs on my off of my bed right now. She would say, and then sometimes she'd tell me he was outside playing. Another time she'd say he was in the bedroom or something. She just would know he was here. So that made it even more uh, unusual for me last night that I did feel out of the blue a child's presence. I, I wasn't focusing on anything in particular at all. I, after I fi finished the video, I just lay there thinking, okay, what happened? What went on here? And I felt the energy change completely. Um, it was it was very strange. I felt uh, as if as if something new. I was really kind of stressed about what happened, and and was going to make sure that I was not stressed anymore. Because I'm telling you guys, I just remember, you know, speaking out loud. Uh, I did the white candle thing, sunshine morning, Ray there. <laughs> I did the sunshine, or the uh, candle thing. And uh, I felt it. It was, uh, I don't know if it was a child or just the childlike presence, you know. Uh, an adult can still have kind of a childlike quality. But it was very relaxing. And uh, after I, you know, communicated with it for a while, I am telling you guys, I was laying there thinking, oh my God, I have to get up and go to work. I am going to be so tired. The next thing I know, it was morning. It was like, you know, the old shots on Star Trek, remember where they go, Psh, and the person would pass it out? That's exactly what it felt like. I felt like, I just remember laying there thinking, I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. And all of a sudden, I just felt, you know, I was just like, 
oh, I could feel myself going. And I slept so hard, I woke up this morning thinking, oh my God, I can't remember the last time I slept that deeply. So whatever it was, comforted not only comforted me, but it feels as if it helped me to sleep, uh, knowing what my worries were at the moment. And um, so guys, I just wanted to give you a quick, quick update. Um, everything's been calm so far. It's only 7.15, but it's been calm so far. And I just want to tell you all, I really appreciate all of your comments. Uh, like I said, whether I agreed with them or not, uh, doesn't matter. I just appreciate you all of you taking the time that you did to give me your views on what you felt it was. And um, I had no fear. There was no fear. There was nothing. I didn't have that feeling that I did when I have encountered something that didn't feel right. You get a different sense, a different feeling. That's not what I had last night this was very different so um, anyway guys um, um, I just want to thank you all and uh, Justin I've got your candle going again that freesia it is heaven sent the scent oh my gosh just so so relaxing and beautiful right now so anyway guys uh, tonight the house feels very comfortable very warm very relaxed um, it feels, um, I don't know how to explain it. I can tell you right now that I do, how can I put it? I do feel as if something is around tonight, but it feels very good. Um, and I know there are people out there who are going to say, oh, you're being deceived, it's evil, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm sorry, guys. You have to understand, I am very, very, very good at feeling and knowing when something is good and when something is evil. And I also believe you can control it. Uh, the the times that I felt something evil, I sim or not necessarily evil. I don't like to jump on that whole bandwagon of saying, "Oh my gosh, it's evil." I feel that the majority of spirits that uh, are still around or do come around, I, I believe they're they're either lost or they have a purpose for being around. I, I don't jump onto that whole "oh evil" stuff. I don't do that. I know some of you feel that way, but I don't. Um, I know that feeling. I know the feeling, hardcore, of what it is if it's something not kind or nice. Um, and this definitely felt very innocent, very pure. Um, and I still sense it, like right now, see, I didn't feel it when I started the video. Maybe because I'm talking about it, it's just a subconscious thing. I don't know. But uh, I sense um, just a little something uh, in the house. And in fact, as I'm looking at you at the camera, her chair, one of her chairs she sat in is right behind. That's the one I sit in when I, in some of my videos with that little window behind it. Uh, that's one of the chairs I used to sit her in. And I can tell you I almost sense as if there's somebody right there. But um, anyway, guys, uh, it feels good in here tonight. I am so calm and so relaxed. And believe me, I have so much to be stressed about right now. Um, <clears throat> I would like you, I would ask you all to say a prayer for me. Uh, not regarding any of this, but I would ask, whatever, like, again, whatever you believe in. When this house sells, I am going to have to move. And right now, financially, yeah, that's a pretty uh, touchy subject. So um, I would ask that you just simply say some kind of prayer or something that everything works out for me in a very good uh, and happy way. I don't like to put specifics because you never know what the universe has in store for you. And if I were to sit there and say, oh, please um, uh, find me the perfect house, well, that could be whenever, wherever. So I'm asking that you say a prayer to the universe, to your God, whatever you believe in, that they guide me to the best place for me, okay? The best place for me to live in. That's what I'm going to ask you to do. It would be greatly appreciated. And again, I, and I also want to thank all of you. Uh, I couldn't answer all. There was too many concerning my, my unborn grandchild. I want to thank all of you for all of your wonderful comments and hopes and wishes and prayers. I can't even thank you enough. When I read all those, you have no idea what it did for my heart. Right as of now, the baby is doing very well. Mom is still suffering. 
but she's doing better. But uh, I got some more uh, pictures just a couple days ago, and uh, the baby's growing very well. They had, uh, I even got a little video of it moving, and it was turning and moving. It was just adorable. So anyway, thank you for all of that, uh, all of you. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to let you know a little update. If anything else occurs, I will keep you posted. Um, <clears throat> I've just had so much stress in my life uh, recently. Um, I also have an issue with a, well, my left eye, which came out of the blue, but the doctor said it would most likely just go away. So I'm doing what he says. And... Um, just a lot of stressors, you know, uh, worrying about a place to live. Uh, when the time comes, it's like, how quick am I going to have to be out, what have you. You know that whole thing. So anyway, uh, say your prayers. And uh, again, thank you for everything. Thank you for all your um, comments and concerns about what occurred last night because it truly was a first-time experience in that sense uh, of what, how that happened. Like I said before, I've had other things happen. But that one was a real eye-opener. And I even said that to the Spirit. I said, if you wanted my attention, you've got it. And that's almost really about when it felt like it was calming down. It just kind of calmed down. And when I woke up this morning, there was nothing. I felt absolutely nothing. So, who knows. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for everything. I will talk to you all later. And then, like I said, if something occurs, I will um, I'll let you know. So take care, guys, and have a good night. We shall see you. Bye-bye.